I'm Josh KI6NAZ. Thanks for clicking on the Ham Radio Crash Course. When you are new to portable amateur radio, and actually this happens to veterans too, there will inevitably a day where you forget one of these at home. This is a coax adapter. I've woken up in the morning before the sun came out to go to a trailhead to do a summits on the air, and I realized after I have driven 45 minutes, so many miles or so to get to the San Gabriel Mountains that I forgot one of these. I did work it out and just kind of bodge together an antenna connection. I don't necessarily recommend that. I really recommend that if your antenna needs one, you have adapters available at your disposal. Today we're going to have a simple little video. We're going to be talking about antenna adapters, specifically a <laughs> interesting kit that I picked up at the HRO. I picked up this Lands Precision Coax Adapter Kit, and it's literally a choose-your-own-adventure of coax bits and bops to make any connection between different types of coax connectors. It was about $100. You can also find it at Gigaparts. Uh, most of the ham radio outlet stores or retail stores will have this. This is probably on the fringier side of what you really need. Realistically, just picking up a bunch of these and cheap is generally okay. I know I might be freaking some people out. When you consider that a good one of these could be anywhere from five to $10, it's, it's not that bad to buy a couple of these SO239 to BNC mail connection. That's gonna be the one that you wanna put in your kit, in your bags, multiple. So if you have multiple ham radio backpacks, you probably want one extra in every one of them. Promise you, I promise you, you will need one of these. Go ahead and put some extras in your bag. It's not gonna hurt. But this precision kit, allowed me to do something like adapt my SMA receivers to a type N connector uh, that I was using for my disco antenna on the roof. If you remember my In the Park HT videos, that uses an SDR play, which has an SMA coax connection, which is pretty good for higher frequency stuff, but type N being the better connection is what's used on the disco antenna that, it has, that I have up on the roof. So check this out. This is my bin o coax adapters, just all kinds of stuff. SMA pieces, barrel, female, female, male, male. I have this little zip pouch that I like to put B and C's in when I'm kind of on the go. It's got a clip on the side so you can like put it in a backpack and whatnot. Really just a assortment of all kinds of stuff. Even got an attenuator in here for running like an SA or something like that. And I mean spectrum analyzer. I use this a lot to go from a coax connector like my LMR 400 air in the shack to SMA. You get the idea, right? Most commons are going to be, you know, BNC converters. Probably the, the one that everybody should have and you should get multiples of these is the SO239 to BNC male. This is the one that you're gonna use most often to go from, I guess you could say standard coax to a BNC connection for like a QRP radio. Have a bunch of these, buy five, highly recommended. But that's not what we're talking about today. Today, we're talking about this little kit, this little box here. In this box is a universal key of coax adapters. I don't know how else to refer to it, but what it is, it's kind of ingenious is you take any one of these connectors. So let's say you had a type N connector and you wanted to go from type N to BNC like this, right? And you wanna jump them together. So let's take this guy here and use this little adapter in the middle and it comes with a bunch of them. And you wanna screw them together like a so. Right, just like that. So now you can adapt whichever direction you want um, from type N, for instance, you can go this direction, right, for female versus male. You can make another adapter if you wanted to do that. And that allows you to take kind of any connection, could be BNC female, could be BNC male, which I'm currently using the BNC males on something else. And this guy as well, right? So it's, it's like a universal adapter kit. So you got your type N's, you got your BNC male, like this guy right here. You've got all these other connectors. I don't even know what some of these connectors are. SMA, really nice SMA connectors with gold plated tips. And of course, you've got your traditional PL plug, right? And again, it's just as simple as take the little adapter piece, shove them in there. So let's go from this guy to 
back down to B and C. I'm always grabbing B and C. I'm using this currently on my SDR Play, which connects to a disco antenna, and that disco antenna has a Type N connector, which we got to get down to SMA for using with my SDR Play, which is a nice little setup. These are not cheap. This kit, as it sits right here, obviously, like I said, I'm I'm using a couple of these. They're in they're in use right now. Um, it runs for about hundred dollars, and you can find it pretty much all the retailers. So maybe go take a look. So anyway, if there's any fault in my system, it's definitely not those connectors. The last three or so of my HT and antenna test videos I did at the park had those adapters in the line, and from a receiving point of view, no problems. Of course. Those These adapters either work or they don't work. I've had a couple of them go bad at, on me over time. Those were only the ones that I ever purchased off of Amazon, though. I've never had a problem when I bought from a HamFest or at HRO, which are the two places I most likely go to. And these precision ones are really nice. So I can't give it the solid, like, yes, absolutely go buy this. It's going to be a little bit more niche for people that have crazier things that they do with ham radio, kind of like I do. But if you're curious, I'll drop a link in the description so you can check them out. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this was helpful. Leave your comments below if you huh, tell me about how many adapters you have on your person. I bet there are some of you that have just a, just a bread box full of adapters. Thanks so much for watching. I'll talk to you later. 73.